Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a cool video here I want to show you and talk to you about for a few minutes. And yes, that box that was in a thumb, thumbnail is going to come into play here in just a second. But I want to talk to you really quick about these two model cars. So, both 1969, both Oldsmobile, both AMT, and both of these are probably, since I've gotten back into model building, these are both the most fun two cars that I've built. They go together great. I love them. Um, this one I built first, the uh, 69 442 W30, and it turned out just so great, and I was so proud of that one. Um, it's got the... I don't know what 400 or something like that in it with the uh, like ducted air intake just just a cool looking just a sweet looking engine and uh, th these are such great these cars have great detail under the bot the, everything about these cars I just love especially their wheels and tires and then the 455 was even better it has the tunnel or the uh, Ram air hood has the four, 455 in this one and I put a little um, put an o-ring for the uh, it's not focusing I apologize but anyway for the air cleaner to make it like where it would meet the hood but anyway these kits were just my favorite to build and that leads me into the topic of what's in that brown box um, we sometimes and I've kind of gone over this in the past, but we sometimes mistake or not know what we're actually building. And because it turns out good and it's under a particular name, we're like, wow, that was an awesome little AMT kit or whatever. But I'm going to open this box here. Now, <clears throat> this box was shipped to me via Phoenix, Arizona um, by Lucas C. Isn't that cool? Lucas C sent me a package. I actually bought this package from Lucas C. But anyway, thanks Lucas for sending this. This was also, you remember that big stash that Andy at Andy's uh, Hobby Headquarters um, had? He bought that huge stash, hundreds of nearly a thousand kits. This is one of them. And I'm so glad to just get one of those, man. It's so awesome. So I'm going to open this. He told me to open it on camera. It's, I'm expecting like a snake or something to one of those spring snakes, you know, to, I'm expecting that to happen. But he says camera up. So I guess he doesn't want me to open it this way. He wants me to open it this way. So we'll open it that way. Hope this film doesn't, or this camera doesn't turn off because it can only open it once. We're going to see what's in. I know what's in here, but I think there's a, Maybe a surprise or something. Let's see what Lucas sent me. Oh boy. I knew it. I knew what he was going to do. I knew you were going to do that because I watched Tim Brown's video when you sent him that box of crap. That 40 Ford build. I knew it. And uh, here Tim, this is this is for you. I think the, the package got got delivered to the wrong to the wrong person. To my favorite YouTuber, Throttle Power. I knew he was going to do that. I knew you. I already know you well enough, Luca. I've never even met you in person, but I already know you well enough. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, Tim Brown, Throttle Power. If you hadn't gone over to his channel, go over there and check him out. He does... I, I'm so envious of where he lives. It's like he's in Indianapolis. He's in Louisville. He's at this car show. He's at that car show. He's at model car shows and all these things. But anyway, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Well, actually, I was the favorite YouTuber um, when Tim opened his package. So, All right, so this is what I want... Oh. Look at here, Andy's Hobby Headquarters. Thank you, Andy, for uh, hooking me up. Um, here it is, such cool coolness, and I opened the darn thing up upside down. I don't know if that was on purpose or, or what, but anyway. All right, so ta-da. This is the subject of it all, right here. This 69 Olds W30 442, and I, I'm shocked, it's in the plastic. 
so it's not even it's never been opened but this came from that stash all right so what I want to talk about is that's my favorite or that's my favorite I can't really decide because they both are the same kit outside of a few details like the engine and the hood these two cars are basically the exact same kit that one's got a wing on the back or a spoiler this one doesn't this kit here is the mother of these two kits and it's an MPC and I know that that strikes a nerve to like a lot of people but this is an MPC and if you'll notice MPC Ertl you don't see that very often but MPC Ertl remember a few videos back when I was talking about the 53 Ford flip nose the 53 Ford flip nose started life as an as an MPC model and then when MPC was bought by Ertl after they Ertl acquired AMT then they started to cross some of the the model kits into the two different brands this is what's happened here so this 69 olds w w3442 is the exact same kit as this kit and it's an amt Re the reason i bring all this up again is because that kit builds so well this kit builds so well i've really not heard any negative i'm sure now that i've brought this up people will say um well i built it and it was the biggest piece you know whatever it's not it's a great kit and it went together so excellent and it's just i love to see the history of this stuff because what happens is we've got kits that we think we assume have been that way the entirety of their life and they we don't know their heritage or at least i don't and when i'm learning this stuff i'm loving it so again this mpc olds w30 442 is the exact same kit i could put this right here this is the exact same car as that in an amt box reissued obviously by round two and i'm so thankful that round two reissued these cars because these are great these are actually great i have let me see this is a kit in this box this is a full uh, full box this is empty this is from that kit but i've got one two three four five six of these kits here because they were on sale at Ollie's that makes a big difference on what you want to you know how many you want to have but this was such a great kit man I'd love to maybe one day if I ever do any kit bashing do some tub one out do a pro street oh man but just this car is just so sweet looking I'd love to have one um, and again it came from its heritage is MPC so when we we catch up we need to catch ourselves sometimes uh, it's kind of like a guilt by association argument like um a person hangs around uh so they're they're close to someone or they agree with one thing of some that someone bad uh, does well you're you're you agreed with that one thing so you're also guilty that's kind of those those arguments can kind of be can can swing to the model believe it or not those weird arguments can swing to here just to say it's an npc means it's a what well, give me some of the acronyms guys major piece of you know crap or uh i don't remember all the i've seen so many i mean it's so easy to make a three letter acronym but it's it's not um it's a great kit and so my point is before we automatically see the mpc and think that it's going to be just like the dukes of hazard car i admit that dukes of hazard car it it it's the same car as the country challenger and i built the country challenger and it was really tough it gave me problems i wasn't the most desirable kit wouldn't want to jump on it again really quick and the dukes of hazard car is just like that well the country challenger was the dukes of hazard car and it's an mpc so we associate all mpc cars that they're just bad and that's not true because again i can't stress it enough if you haven't bought this kit, either one of these, uh, the Hurst Olds or the Olds 442, or or if you can get your hands on this MPC, I'm not going to crack the seal. I was I was actually hoping that it was open because I would have opened it up and compared some of the parts to the kit. But it's exactly the same. Outside, this is not the Hurst Olds. This is the four, the uh, the W30. But anyway, I'm, I'm really repeating myself here. But so so cool to have a kit out of that stash from Andy's that he uh he acquired and then sold the majority of them this kit is from 1988 um and lucas sent me a text and he says hey 
guess what I found? Because he and I had talked and I wanted this kit. He says, guess what I found? So I said, hey man, can you send it to me? And uh, thanks for doing that, Luca. And thanks for the kind little throttle power note there. That's kind of funny. And thanks, uh, a Andy, for uh, selling it to him. So anyway. All right, guys. That's all I got. Just something quick to talk about. I love talking about comparing model kits with brand, different brands, same kit. I just love it. I think it's an, an absolutely amazing subject, although people would probably, probably would be bored by talking about this. It, it really, I like it. And I've got another one that I'm going to do soon. As soon as I can find a kit that I, that I need to do the comparison with. That's why I've been waiting. And today I got this and I'm like, I'm going to do the video this evening. But anyway, so uh, yeah. Remember, MPC built the 53 flip nose that became an AMT. They built um, the Dukes of Hazard that also became an AMT. Uh, it shared both back and forth back and forth. They built the Daytona the 69 Daytona that became an that was an AMT then became an MPC um, <laughs> But I think it may have started life as an MPC became an AMT went back to MPC I don't know I've lost track already, but don't always just associate MPC with garbage because they're not this these are to attest that that MPC is not garbage because that and that came from an MPC uh, mold. Anyway, that's all I got guys. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you go hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. Hit a, hit that like. I never even talk about the like button, but the like button apparently really helps out too. I don't know how all that stuff works, but if you click, click that like button, if you're not watching this on your television, if you are, you can still do it, but takes a few more steps. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go over to the Facebook group and join there if you have not joined already. We're having a really great time over there. So many great model builders that are that don't have YouTube channels. And to see their work, you have to go to places like that because obviously we don't live next door to each other. So we have to go to places like Facebook and get on one of the groups and check it out. Luca's got a group. I've got a group going on and uh, yeah. It's a great, the modeling community is a great source of encouragement. Uh, every, every so often you will get a person that, that is somewhat of a discouragement. I don't know why they want to be that way, but for the most part, the model, the model building community is an encouraging group of guys. I don't care what your kit turns out to look like, how horribly hideous it looks. You're going to get some positive feedback and that helps every everybody you know why, why have a bad attitude but anyway i'm just rambling um also go over to hobby nut models guys and check out mark's inventory mark gets different kits you may see one of these on there you may see this one if you do see this one you better see it in a hurry because i'll be buying it because i need another one because i want to open one up i need to get one that's not in the plastic yes i know let me real quick real quick side note i cringe I absolutely cringe um, when I see guys open up older kits. Now this isn't this kit's not necessarily really really old. It is 1988, so it's got some age to it. But I'm like, man, I can't. I want to so bad open this thing up. I want to so bad do it. I want to crack the seal, open it, but I'm not going to because that that just it, it seems to preser preserve it better for me. I mean, look at this. If you were to Oh man, it's in its plastic. It's not even torn. It's in perfect condition. Um, but yeah, I cringe when I see guys open up a model kit that's old and build it. I'm like, no, stop. Don't do that. I'll buy it from you. Let me send you a newer one, an updated one, whatever. But yeah, that's me. I'm a little, I'm a little different when it comes to that. I'm a collector, then a builder. And uh, the collecting part is, is so much fun to me. And uh, anyway, that's enough rambling. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and there'll be another video soon. There will be some videos very, very soon. Today is Oct today is November the 1st, 2021. This Friday, November the 5th, I'll be in Atlanta. And, it, uh, and then November 6th, Saturday, there's the Acme Show. So I hope to meet a bunch of you guys in Atlanta. 
Um, I think they're meeting up at the hotel, or, or I don't I don't really know what all the logistics are, what, what they're going to do, where they're going to go. But anyway, we're going to meet up with some guys and going to just have a great time, talk about model cars, and then on Saturday go to the Acme show. And um, I hope to be blown completely away with uh, with what I see there, and I, I'm just about sure I will. But anyways, hope to see some of you guys there. And uh, okay, now I'm done rambling. You guys have a great day, great evening, great night, great morning, whenever you see this. And I'm out of here. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.